Today I'm speaking with Pankil Shaw, co-founder of Outranking.io. Thank you for speaking to me today, Pankil. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for having me on your podcast today. Sure. Excited to be here. Yes, uh, absolutely. It's a, it's a treasure to have someone like yourself coming and talking to, to the show, Tools of the tr Podcast Trade. So tell us about P Pankil. Uh Tell us about me. Yeah. Uh, you mean, uh, so uh, unlike any, uh, I think, uh, entrepreneur where your, your journey starts with failure. So, uh, you know, a, a couple of uh, startups I founded early on uh, when I graduated from college. Uh, then I joined an enterprise company uh, leading growth, uh, for, uh, growth uh, in uh, the space of databases. Uh, where we were doing a lot of stuff with SEO, uh, creating tons and tons of content using internal uh, stakeholders, uh, not external, internal, uh, and getting them to rank, right? And we were facing challenge of how you go about creating content at scale uh, and how do you create defined guidelines for someone who doesn't understand uh, what the SEO gimmicks are and stuff like that, right? So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we uh, got on a journey to build a product uh, that can allow anyone to be a really good writer uh, and uh, create content for web. Uh, so that could absolutely mean uh, converting or creating content from any of the existing sources or existing media. Like, for example, if they are a good YouTube post, right, would allow you to convert your YouTube transcripts into a blog post, right, like things like that. So we, we wanted to enable everyone to become a good writer um, or at least get that stepping stone in without having to know much about it. Okay, all right. So um, thank you for that. You mentioned SEO, and a lot of times we think of SEO as only uh, necessary when we're blogging um, so people can find our website. But tell us how SEO benefits the podcaster. So it, in many ways, right? So let's let's go back and just like, you know, even the podcasters, you'd want your podcast to reach the maximum amount of audience, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, and to reach that audience, you need to first understand what your audience is going to be likely interested in, right? Uh, that's a major struggle that, uh, you know, it, it's like any piece of content that goes out, uh, you often wonder whether I'm providing the right value to my audience or not, right? Mm -hmm. So in that case, and this is a practice that we've used too before, uh, we were doing webinars. <laughs> in our case, we were doing webinars, right? Okay. And it's a similar situation uh, because you're doing a very technical webinar and you're diving deep into such technical uh, pieces of this content uh, users often get lost, right? So mm -hmm. you need to have that follow-up post and you need to have that follow-up thought process that you can then circulate to your audience. Um, same way, it's like when when we're trying to come up with topics for this webinar, this is where SEO comes in and it goes applies to podcasts as well, is that we did keyword research instead of understand, instead of going around and guessing right. uh, what would we cater to audiences. What we did was we picked out the phrases that were searched the maximum amount of time in the space that we were, and then we cre we came up with a creative idea around that. Okay. Uh, so it was easy. We knew what we had to go after to get to our ideal uh, audience, and we knew what they were searching for in the maximum amount, and then you just pick an idea on top of that. So you out of the hat, you know, okay, this will resonate with a lot of people that are searching for it online, right? So yes. it just, just applies to everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, uh, there's like a keyword search engine for uh, YouTube. There's keyword search for Amazon, right? Like so, all everywhere you host your content now um, is going to have uh, a similar uh, type of searches that users are doing on that platform. Uh, and what, as you know, as a person who's creating a podcast, you'd want organic discovery for your podcast, right? Like someone is searching for something very specific, they w you want them to land on your podcast, right? So. I'd say, you know, SEO comes uh, a bit handy over there. A second thing is that you want to diversify a little bit. So yeah. let's say you have a podcast and uh, you want to, uh, that's one form of media. So one form of media podcast. Uh, and what if you could repurpose that? What if you could repurpose that and create 
other assets which can drive similar sort of discovery for your content, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what you want to aim for, right? So this is where what you can do is like you can create a podcast. You've created that initial research. So you know your title is going to resonate with the target audience. Now you have the content after the podcast. You can take that and use a tool like Outranking where you just dump the transcripts in and it'll give you a blog post, right? right. Now if you have that secondary piece of asset, a blog post that you can then put on your website, optimize for SEO, uh, and drive organic traffic to that uh, to that web page, and then also get those users to listen to that podcast. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So we can use SEO as a tool, basically, as podcasters, for two things. One, to see what people want, right? Because you want to meet the needs when you do your podcast. But it also helps you when you provide for those needs for the people to find you. Right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So that's one yeah. tool. The second tool is you talk about re repurposing your content and for video or blog posts. Tell, tell us now about outranking and how can that benefit podcasts? Right. So uh, a lot of uh, podcasts are like very impromptu, right? Uh, they're structured. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> ask them specific questions and there's an answer to it, right? And it's just a huge discussion that goes around it and there's tons of summarization that you'd have to do in order to come up with a good blog post around it, right? Yes. Um, so what we did at Outranking was, okay, how do we do this, right? So what we did was we built out uh, this really cool feature where you can take raw transcripts of uh, your podcast, just dump it in there, and within a few minutes, it will crunch an entire blog post for you using that content and give it to you. So. Uh, y sure, it's not going to be published ready 100%, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you're going to have to put that 10% effort in to clean it up and make it concise and stuff like that. But it reduces your uh, efforts like you know tremendously. And then you can score it for SEO, publish on your website, and voila. So that's what Outranking does. Um, it helps you write content for web uh, from any kind of source, for any kind of page, uh, using guided assistant. So it can not only give you um, information that AI already knows, but it can understand the new information that you have or the expertise that you have in uh, your raw reference content, right? Like that's a blog, yes, or blog yes. I mean, a podcast or a video or whatever, and convert that into knowledge base. So now oh. you have something very powerful that you can just publish out of the hat and get additional users uh, looking at your content. Oh, great. I, I like that uh, because sometimes we're too busy figuring out what we're doing and we don't have time to utilize, you know, the opportunity of blog posts, for instance. I love blog posts and I think it's the best way to communicate. But your um, outranking.io, let's get it right, um, will take that transcript and convert it into something readable and understandable. And then we can go in and make sure you know, it lines up with what we're trying to say, the message we're trying yep. to portray, and voila, yeah? Exactly, right. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> as, as, as easy as that, right? And uh, I, I think uh, this will help you create different assets from the same media that you have, mm -hmm. uh, allowing you to reach a lot more people, uh, audiences that digest information in different ways. Some people like listening to podcasts, while there are many out there who just want to listen, uh, read a blog post. Right? Yes. So you're catering to different kinds of audiences as well uh, to get your messaging out there. Yes, yes, for sure. Thank you. It seems a trending topic, though, nowadays. And I can see why, because having a podcast is having a valuable asset. But if you're only reaching people who are on the go, you know, because most podcasters, most podcast listeners are on the go. And yes. and so it helps. It benefits the podcast a, a lot if we can repurpose that content and share that very same message with others who are reading or even on video. Right? Absolutely. And yeah. this can help you uh, create an additional nurture uh, program, right? Like you can send an email reminding. Yeah. Like can, there's so many benefits of this. Uh, I've seen podcasters create like one podcast every day. It's just so busy. Uh, mm -hmm. They're constantly running around and there's just no room for them to come up with blog posts, right? Yes. So uh, this would like significantly bridge that gap and hey, in half an hour, you can have a blog post ready. 
hundred percent ready, uh, published ready. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, that is that. That's an absolutely valuable tool. So thank you for sharing with us. And so, I, I'm guessing that's the way to ten x your content production, right? Can you <laughs> yes. talk about that? Yeah, so 10x your content production, right? So um, what we notice is that when it comes to creating content, uh, there's so many nuances to it, right? Like, I think AI has brought another sort of challenge while solving one challenge. Uh, one is that it's making uh, easier for you to write content, uh, even if it is garbage, it's still making it easier for you to write content. But because it is... Um, creating this content for you. And because your users who are reading this information are much more mature than they were like 10, 10 years ago when mm -hmm. they just had no information, they like good information. Right. Uh, they like reading, engaging information. That's what's going to get uh, your content moving, right? So AI or no AI, I, I think challenge now is that everybody needs to be a better writer to get their content to be engaging and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But not everybody is equipped with write with understanding of how to write in tones, uh, write a hook in a paragraph, right? Like how to structure your content for SEO and stuff like that. So, 10x is uh, without tranking. What it really means is that we'll hold your hand uh, from step by step to fig to ideation, to curating content, to actually writing with it and to optimizing it uh, for SEO and as well as, you know, your copywriting ability. So your, the, the content that you push out is not only 10x faster, but it is also 10x better. Uh, and that's what we're really trying to aim for here. Oh, I like that because, you know, I'm a podcaster and this is actually my second podcast. So I have two and I have all this content. Someone said to me yesterday, you know, all these people, you're talking to all these people. But not everybody hear that content because, you know, <laughs> they're just sitting on podcasts. And so that's a great tool on outranking. I'm going to try it, actually. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's, it's a couple of other ways you can benefit out of this tool as well. So you can create, you can dump your transcripts and you can also create like sort of summaries that you can post on your uh, podcast pages, right? Like oh, that yeah. also has like certain amount notes. of content. Yeah. Exactly. So okay. that can drive some additional, uh, you know, organic traffic mm -hmm. if there's uh, sufficient content with uh, some valuable insights over there. So yeah, great. Thank you. Um, so what is Pankill grateful for today? I'm grateful to be alive and to be hustling, right? Uh, and I'm grateful uh, for all the opportunity a tremendous amount of customer base has given us in a very short time. Uh, to allow us to actually create this kind of app, like uh, we crowdsource, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, we we did lifetime deal earlier on, and just a tremendous amount of users who joined, and that just gave us so much push to be able to build out something uh, so significant that it's not totally reliant on just AI. We have our logics that uh, help you really create this content. It's a tremendous amount of time and efforts that went behind it. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful to be still here as uh, still be still hustling and to be still speaking to, uh, you know, you and all the wonderful uh, audience that you have. So. Great. I'm going to, I'm going to make some fun now. <laughs> all right. So, um, t how can we, um, get to your software? Tell us a little bit about it. Any specials going on? Anything like that? Yes, absolutely. So uh, we're currently doing a lifetime deal, uh, not lifetime deal, sorry, grandfather deal, uh, where it's heavily discounted and we're running this through till January the 7th. That's when we have the newest version of our product coming out with some really amazing capabilities uh, that are not uh, heard of and uh, seen yet uh, for creating content. So. Uh, we're running that special till then. Uh, it's a thirty-nine dollars, I believe, for the lowest tier, and uh, uh, yeah, your documents don't get to expire, so you can continue uh, accumulating them. So you can match your frequency with it, um, and it's, it's probably the best deal out there uh, as of right now for any. Uh, well, there's just no comparison, uh, but you know, there's there are sale and competitors. So uh, I'd say it's a very, very, very uh, competitive deal. Um, we have that for users right now. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I, I do like the, the, I've used a couple of these AI, copy AI software, and I find that they, they you do all the hard work. They just kind of throw stuff out at, the, at you, 
And I find, I find the idea of putting the transcript into the software and letting the transcript, letting the software do a little of the work, like what, a bit of the mud work for you. I find that very attractive. So you will find this attractive too then, uh, that when you go to any of these other tools that use AI, they are relying, yeah, sure, you, they want you to do the hard work of mm -hmm. thinking and putting stuff in. Uh, and then they do a little bit of work and then you still have to do a lot more work to edit it and make it to the finish line. Yeah. It's a little different without tranking. Uh, you don't have to do the hard work of coming up with the research to put it in. Our software has capabilities to go and research the things that you want on its own, mm -hmm. find concepts and key points that you can use to write uh, around it on its own, and then influence that data uh, using AI to write actually facts, not fiction, right? Uh, yeah. facts. So <laughs> it does the entire process in an automated way, just doing the heavy lifting, but what you have to do is just the guidance, yeah. uh, you know, just tweaking here and there. So. Right. Very cool. Thanks. And then the $39 um, starting point, uh, if you start at that one, if once you once you do an update in January, that that price is grandfathered in. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, when okay. we do the update in January, we are no longer going to be doing this pricing. The pricing will go up. Okay. Uh, we're going back to our standard pricing. Uh, it's it's much different uh, than what we currently have. But yes, so that, that's that's the plan. Okay. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, this is bang for the buck right now. If you if you are creating four, five, ten documents a month and you just really don't have time, mm -hmm. uh, this 39 is going to save you 30 to 40 hours, uh, you know, as opposed to, uh, yeah, a couple yeah, and if you're churning out podcasts after podcasts, you know, day after day, it's, it's a great tool. Thank you. Thank you, Pank Hill, for coming and talking to us today. I really appreciate you. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Jennifer, for having me. It was uh, I had a really fun uh, conversation with you. Anything else you want to add? I'm, we're open. No, so I'd say don't be scared of AI, right? Like, it's here to help you uh, do your task faster. It's, help you, uh, it's here to help you make... Uh, uh, you're a better writer. It's not going to replace you anytime soon. Like writers <laughs> feel sometimes like, oh, you know, it's going to replace us, but that's not the case. Uh, and I'd say, you know, check out Outra and King. Uh, we're doing something really innovative stuff uh, that other AI um, cannot do just by AI capabilities. Uh, mm -hmm. it's our added advantage. So uh, go and check out outrainking.io to Outra and competition. Thank you very much, Banko. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.